Owning a new car is great, especially if you travel a lot. You will have the confidence that nothing wrong will go with the car for the first 100,000 kilometers. The only thing that you need to worry about is changing the oil in the filters. And even if something goes wrong, you have 24 hour assistance all over the world for free. There are lots of other advantages of owning a brand new car, even if it's not a premium one. Modern new cars have lots of features to choose from, but at some point for customers, it might get confusing. So what do you do before you buy a brand new car? What do you look at? Number one, decide what's your budget. It may be 15,000, it may be $40,000. It's totally up to you. Number two, decide how you'll pay your car, cash or lease. If you're planning to keep the car for a longer period of time, let's say over five years, then you should pay it cash and then keep it. If you're planning to upgrade your car every two, three years, then you should lease it and when you want to buy a brand new one, you should buy back it. Three, body type. Decide based on your needs, if you need a sedan, a limousine, a hatchback, a cabrio, a coupe, or even an SUV. But keep in mind, the bigger the car, the higher the maintenance cost. 4. Engine size. If you drive a lot, you need an efficient engine. But keep in mind, don't buy a big car with a small engine. In other words, don't buy an underpowered car. In some cases, big cars with small engines will consume more than a big car with a big engine. So don't get a 2-ton 5 series with a 2 liter engine, it's underpowered. The ideal factor to consider when you're looking at power, look at the power to weight ratio. You should be having at least one horsepower for every 10 kilograms. So if your car has 140 horsepower, it shouldn't have more than 1400 kilograms. Five, engine type. Depending on your needs, make up your mind between the diesel and gasoline. If you only drive for short distances or downtown, then you should be getting gasoline. If you drive a diesel car only downtown or for short distances, you will have problems with a diesel particulate filter. Also, diesel engines heat up much slower compared to a gasoline one and fuel consumption will increase. To have a great fuel consumption on a diesel engine, you need to drive on the highway or outside town. So if you drive a lot outside town, then you should be getting a diesel engine, especially if you drive over 20,000 km per year. A diesel particulate filter is over $1,500, so replacing it is extremely painful for the owner. 6. Transmission type. I'm a manual guy, so I will always prefer a manual transmission over an automatic one. However, if you live in London or in New York or in a busy city, having an automatic transmission is much better. It would be a pain to always shift gears, engage first gear, brake again, again first gear, clutch, brake and so on. It's, it's annoying at some point. However, a manual transmission is cheaper to maintain. If you get an automatic one, replacing the oil has to be done every 40 to 60,000 kilometers and it's over $400. So keep in mind, if you have an automatic transmission, you need to replace the oil every 40 to 60,000 kilometers and it's over $400. Number seven, traction. If you live in a cold area, don't buy rear wheel drive. It would be a pain. Also, if you don't need all wheel drive, don't buy it. By having an all-wheel drive transmission, you will increase the fuel consumption with around 3 liters per 100 km. If you drive over 20,000 km per year, you will waste another 600 liters, which is around $1,000 a year if you live in Europe. So hands down, the most efficient traction is front-wheel drive. Number 8. Features. A brand new car in 2017 should have at least the following features. Air conditioning, ESP, 6 speakers, Bluetooth connectivity, heated seats, rear parking sensors, even if you're the best driver in the world, having a set of parking sensors is incredibly useful, leather covered steering wheel, not only that it looks better and it feels more premium, but you, it helps you have a better grip on the steering wheel as well. Fog lights, front and side airbags, an SD card or an AUX in jack to listen to music. Who's listening to CDs anymore in 2017? <laughs> Me and my 3 Adjustable steering wheel, a multimedia display even if you don't have navigation on it, tire pressure monitor sensors and alloy rims. You can find brand new cars in 2017 which have all these features that I mentioned above and you can get them below $15,000. I have one car in mind which is extremely economical and fuel efficient and it has all these features the Suzuki Bolino with a 1.2 naturally aspirated gasoline engine. I drove that car while I was at Suzuki and it feels amazing. It's uh, in Romania that costs $13,800 and you get all the features that I mentioned above, even a few more, such as radar brake support, LED lights and etc. And number nine, paint color. Don't get yellow or red. It washes out pretty quickly over time. Also, don't get black or white. They're dirt collectors in my opinion every dirt spot can be easily seen on these 
colors, you should look after colors such as blue, brown or grey. So these are the things that you should be looking for when you buy your brand new car in 2017. If you think that I missed some points, then be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.